really good, yeah. yeah. It's excellent against Ember and... And Puck. Yeah. More reason to take Slark. Be swapping right here uh, as they matched up the Nyx Assassin at the top, so makes sense to you. KP gonna make his way to the bottom lane, or maybe they just uh, kill him first. Oh, that could work out too. Yeah, old 11, young 11, whatever you want to call him. He's a first blood potential on him, but he'll walk away and he'll be fine for now, so no swap just yet. But I'm gonna try to see if they can get the kill at least. But yeah, KP eventually gonna be making the swap right here, but again, Kaka getting some free experience at the bottom lane. Meanwhile, yeah, my man Earth Spirit almost level two. <laughs> He's just, gonna, just gonna steal some more on the bottom, get that level two. I was and gonna say, you switch now if you're VG. There you go. Uh, Bronzy go to the top lane. Nightmares put up. This isn't gonna really result in much, just so there's some good harassment for now. A lot of people don't lay in the Echo Stomp hit. Never screwed in on the Rebel. Or he goes to the attack and first put a shot. In favor of VG Gaming, Len and Credit on the other Titan. Yeah, once the uh, other Titan hits level two. He's so hard. We saw uh, LFY playing it against Secret as uh, as an offlaner. Yeah. The guy was just uh, insane. MKB, Nullifier. Okay, they're going on Storm Spirit once again. Yeah, he's one that's in trouble this time. The root comes out. Gonna stop that TPD. Actual stop second. Hard with the timing though. Running off to the left is good for now. Great job by Lanham. He's also setting them out with his own body. Or he's in fact going back in. He wants a turn kill. Did he get a little bit too greedy though? Fire last in the face of Taka. A prom attack on a hit, but he'll bear roll away. Now Ori, the green is real. He ends up falling because of that decision. So they... He does not recover that deep. Okay. From the bad start. Got you. Elder Titan, by the way, pointing to the bottom lane. Sends out the Astral Spirit. Throwing some harassment, but uh, making his presence known down there. Bounty Rune, four minutes. About 15 more seconds. Kaka's already hiding nearby for it. Realizes that uh, Elder Titan's coming over. So they're going to go toe to toe. Boulder Smash over the ledge. Still 10 more seconds before that Bounty Rune spawns, though. So... Trying to get a kill out of this is Kaka, and maybe gonna bait it like he did with Yori earlier. And LNM realizes that that's the case on the bottom. The one comes in, the tree is there, the avalanche comes out of the whack from the tree. From Moogie. Good thing. Try versus Cry Lane Middle. As you mentioned, if anything, it's leeching experience. The supports are very under level. Do you think it's good or bad for either way? Well, it's good for Nike, so he's just having a time of his life on the top lane 40 CS, so I'll keep that for later. Bane. Echo Stomp saves him for now. Hits three different heroes. Going for the kill on Akaka. Great boulder smash through. It's going to be enough. Maybe get a kill from Rojan. No, he goes down. Land in now taking the damage on top of S Triple C, realizing Ember Spirit has to go the other direction. Faith running towards mid. He's like, oh, save me, buddy. No, that's not good. Gonna be slowed down. The auto attacks up. Ori is busy tanking it up, though. The Echo Stomp again set up. The silence for the back lines. Brian has stalled the damage, but it's not going to be enough. KP even rotates over for this. This is classic mid wars, man. I mean, they're pretty good against. When he when he has rage up, he's basically unstoppable. It feels like in this game. Meanwhile, bottom lane back down here. Nightmare on a cock. He goes for the sides. Does hit the boulder smash on the one, but it's not going to be nearly enough. That's a four man kills. Has the face boots with the armlet. KP. Saw him make the juke earlier by standing still. We'll see if that comes into play once again. Another time goes in with the astral spirit. Has the echo stomp ready. Of course, against Puck, not the easiest. Puck realizes it. Will he do it again? Yeah, he's not going to go with it. He stays here. But now they know he has uh, no uh, um, port here as far as the illusory orb. Meanwhile, Faith going to be taking the ultimate from Elder Time. They do find KP, and they also find Faith there. So it ends up being a two for kill, at least in that case on Ogre Magi. Top lane. Ogie, level 10. Setting up is going to toss somebody in. They're going for a barrel roll in. Despite Fear Rage comes out, of course, pretty quickly, but it's not going to be enough to save it. However, these TP. Reaction time for each of gaming. Ori, he's going in. The Vortex, a toss in the air on Akaka. He's eventually going to fall, though. Magnetize himself on a couple of heroes, but is it going to be threatening enough to keep them out of here? Life Stealer wants to. 5% yeah. accuracy. So. That's something to consider, yeah. yeah. I mean, this game, I don't see anyone building towards any armor. Middle lane. Storm Spirit wishes he had evasion right here, that could have helped, but nope. Boulder Smash. Oh, Nyx Assassin, old 11. He's hunting, finds us triple C, maybe with uh, Ori responding in 10 seconds, but no, they're just gonna go for the Fiend's Grip in the opening right here. Do they have enough damage? Is the question. Kaka assisting, signs up on a bait, stops the Fiend's Grip a little bit early, other tight, going through his That triple C is gonna be safe, keep here as well. The Echo Stop hits a couple of heroes. And it will finish off the Ember Spirit actually in the end. Nightmares up on the KP. Here comes the Storm. Nice game. Oh, he gets kicked away though by Kaka, but it's not going to save him in the long run. The attempt was made. Just Rotsi, not only one of the better safe laners, but just frankly one of the better overall players. This is a man that won the one versus one tournament last year, I believe it was. You know, in the DAC, if I remember correctly. Anyway, Plan M, top lane. He's being dope on pretty heavily. He's going to end up finished off here, so Earth Splinter's not going to save him, but maybe set up some turn kills, Ori. 
going to kill the Earth Spirit off, make it a one for one right there over Machai. Was picked off, meanwhile, elsewhere. The Fiend's Grip locked it down. Ember Spirit, actually, the Impale Sun hits right after it. It will be three kills in total for Beach. Smoke play from Newbie. Newbie down 5,000 net worth now. Knows they need to make, need to make some gates happen. And Storm Spirit would be a prime target. Opens up with the waiting room for the silence. The follow up from Earth Spirit. The lock into the Fire Blast, the Avalanche. Um, that was a beautiful job of making sure time. Pushing out the lane. He knows something's up. He's going to be scanned, actually. Oh, they still got him, though. That's Triple C went a little bit too close to them. He had the right idea to get away, but it's gotten him out. Just a matter of who he wants to open. The career's coming in, too. Yeah, but... he wants to kill the Earth Spirit, but he needs to stun right away because he has the... Uh, <laughs> they to let an item to them, so it spots them, but they cannot react in time. As you mentioned, though, they burst down Kaka. The Ghost Center does die. He's going to play KP, though. He wants immediate revenge damage. Dream Cole comes up. Hop Rossi. He breaks off. He's coming back in. Or he pulls it as well. The Fiend's going to lock it down. Bane, triple C. Hero. He goes down. Four kills in favor of... Tan. The Earth Spirit, because okay. he can't pop the Ghost Scepter. Good reaction, though, by Earth Spirit. Uh, yeah. Still managed to take him down with uh, Mana Burn and Stun. Avalanche combo, Bane. There you go. Finally, his first death. Coming into play, but at what cost now? Young Eleven hunting around yet again. Misses the Impale, but they'll find Kaka. There's that Ghost Scepter. Coming into play, Bane is going to be right down with the open wounds. He'll go down. Young Eleven, stunned. Barrel. Yep, I thought he was going to go for it the first item, so they can fight uh, early on with the advantage from Fox Earth Spirit. Sentry. You want to be sentry. as active as possible. If they see him. Yeah, the Sentry Ward spotted him. That Santa Cruz is not going to matter right there. Kaka, he's also going to get caught up to you now. Ghost Sentry delaying a little bit. Faith, meanwhile, dealing with others down below. Double kill coming out for Mori, though. Other Titan locking down the Ogre Magi. Makes it three kills in total for the team. Other supports. Bane almost has... Uh, Shadow Amulet. He's almost 2,000 yeah. net worth yeah. more than this. Yeah, we'll he actually has it. Yeah, he has, he has an old Glimmer Cape. Ooh, Dream Quill out of range. This one's back in, though. He actually went back in. Well, this is why he may die, but it's going to be a big turn in favor of the tired side. Earth Spirit's already dead, as well as the Ember. And now Boogie just simply trying to run. Life to their in pursuit. Yules up in the air cape. He's trying to save his teammate. Lucerio Orb, oh, ho, ho, ho. just almost enough damage right there with the brain sap, but real quickly, because again, he had a BKB queued up with like 3,000 gold saved up, and then he just went to Shadow Blade instead. Do you think in hindsight, maybe, our space is going to die here, that BKB would have been the best. So you can surprise the enemy, you have so much uh, burst damage coming out from the hit, the three grab, and just the combo. Bane? I'm guessing that's an invis room. Yeah, he's just scouting out Tiny right there. Ember Spirit going down a storm, meanwhile. Ask more and more aggressive, perhaps. So, another, yet another reason for the Orca. Look at this, by the way. <laughs> Zapping on over. It just has so much meaning to work with. That's ridiculous. And he's going in further. Mogi. Ace is gone. Oh, the Ace just wore off your right. Ori needs to be careful. He'll just zap away. Won't be fine. Life Stealer jumps out, though. KP falls. And now Kaka with the Ghost Scepter saving a little bit yet again, but just delaying the inevitable. Just trying to even throw it in the Astral Spirit. <laughs> he's nice. actually doing a good Scepter. job of trying to get away, but the yields will only stop it. And double kill for Paparazzi, so looks a little flashy there. A lot of defensive items coming out from Vici. Uh, even Nike's built into Mantis and goes out of control once he picks up that Shadow Blade. I mean, it was the second uh, item Shadow Blade, so that, that could be the reason as well. It's all, it's all for the Prince of Vici game, though, it feels like. This is the Vici gaming team that. I at least I don't know many of those kind of expected coming into this tournament. They've been on a lot of momentum. You mentioned the Dota pit. They were the runner-up team only there for this new patch, by the way. This fight's still happening, so Nick Assassin. He's gonna not only survive, but maybe he'll turn on a bogey. The all oh, the big echo or the uh, Earth Splitter coming out in the back like pulling him in. They will finish off Earth Spirit though. Boger Magic is still waiting to resurrect Storm Spirit. Gonna be combo. He's still plenty tanky out of the split TV existing. To stay alive, Mookie, he goes down 70 seconds. He does have a five act. Yeah, they, they just call it. They just call it. There's no coming back from this game whatsoever. Storm Spirit uh, looked like a pretty hard game on the paper uh, for the Storm Spirit with all those silences and stuns, uh, but he managed to. Really great hero versus Luna because you just keep your dust ass and you just do move, good physical damage. You just move your um, you just move your timber to the safe lane and like dual. Uh, beginning of this game. Yeah, Tide Hunter already running bottom. Uh, I'm okay. So Timber Saw still has a uh, TP which favors uh, Vici Gaming, but he might be in trouble. He, he might, might actually die there. Yeah. yeah. Does he even have a getaway? I don't think so. And that's gonna be first blood. Oh. At least he can TP to.
Is this kind of just a sacrificial lane? Are they just kind of accepting that, you think, and is that the better decision? I guess Winter Wyvern is just waiting for one more Arctic Burn. Okay, there's a region here. He might uh, harass him one more time, then go, then go away. Um, well, OD is not a hero that comes back into the game easily. He needs to have a good early game. Yeah. One of the ways to get back into the game is uh, Midas. I think he might, might actually use the Astral on him. Wyvern? He's, uh, he's in trouble right here. The Arctic Burn's not going to save him. Here comes Land M now going for the turn kill. Leads on a one. Metaphor from Paparazzi. Auto attack gets one kill. Now Kaka could be in some trouble. Paparazzi still chasing. Fadeball going to be wearing off. Kaka going to run to the ages. Another crush happening. Come more auto attacks. Oh. The Metaphor auto attack up. Bill. Double kill. I'm your biggest Paparazzi. fan. Yes, I know the song. <laughs> it gets stuck in my head too every time I cast VG game. No, but the 2 2 now. Obviously, that was huge for VG as far as the turn goes. With Terrorblade. Yeah, when you have the Winter Viber using uh, three times uh, Arctic Burn, the other supports are forced to come in and help your OD. And now Moogie, he's, he might be in some trouble actually. He's up here by himself. You got Slaughter. Okay, Slaughter's just basically making a point. Yeah, I'm here. He's gonna make the play a little more defensively. Back to the middle lane. Terrorblade, he gets lifted in. Fire Blast done. We see the tri lane again coming out middle, just like we had last game. Ford in front, land in, gets your late dunk rush. Faith, a little too tanky. He'll be fine, so they kill two around the map. I love what Young Eleven did. He had no HP. He just says, I'm gonna PT top, take some creeps, and be full HP. Reactive Arc, man. Good ability. Middle lane, slaughter. Coming in, crush. Also a good ability. Stone on S-Triple-C, the Bloodlust, will it be enough at move speed here? It looks like it could be, actually, that's what you run it. But another stun happening, it's Fall Out Attack, but the Blast actually secures the kill in favor of the Dire Side. Terrible Blade, though, is this a turn kill? It is. 17 charges. Oh, there's those charges that you were talking about, the Paparazzi, he is good. And that comes out with Faith. Uh, I don't think he's going to be able to chase it out. Oh, maybe they are, the Faith Ball just in range secures it. Wow. It excels her farm so much, yeah. I mean, it's a... Uh... 90% chance he's gonna go for it. Middle lane. About time. It's been about 30 seconds. Let's go ahead and send three heroes middle lane. S triple C. Has to first mid on the slaughter. The meta auto attacks though. The Arctic Bird. Just too much damage. For the speed. You can't move slower than that. Yeah, that's sluggish, man. That's uh it continues to be annoying for him. And the middle lane. It is also whoa. Just again, action, metaphor, up operati, it's got to be too much longer on him. He's, he's real he just has to fight. He's got nice to nice ass goal imprisonment though to save Kaka and Paparazzi running out of the metaphor. It's gonna be run down by KP and the auto attack to finish him off. Kaka was eventually <laughs> This is ridiculous. You, you got a clips, buddy. Let's go ahead and get involved. So this uh, movement speed the reduction tactic, it's uh, okay, bottom lane. Now stop talking the cost, we got action. Something else on this new. Bottom lane, Luna. Oh, the, the Eclipse that we're just talking about actually turning the one go down, but sets up the return on the slaughter, so. Just out of this uh, lane swap, this chaos that was created early on, uh, you see Slardar being on mid, just uh, getting all the XP. No Eclipse for just yet for Luna. The Dream Call locking him down. He pops into the last second and gets the turn kill. On a fucking just came off cooldown. So an eye for an eye right there. It's going to be a two for one. That's Fenrir also. Well, the farm, he had Arcane Rune, uh, used the meta, can pressure the top tower a little bit. This does feel like a game, though, kind of good to your point that you're just talking about there, that it's like, it's really hard to tell who's really favoring from this, right? Like, this is just a, it's almost like a wash of laning phase, because it's just so back and forth between these two teams. And now Timbersaw, oh no, he hits, he has a Timber Chain still, but it's out of range, the shock is going out, he knows he's in trouble. He has another Timber Chain, the Astral Imprisonment, though, could be used it. Will that be the end of him? Absolutely. The beam hits from Moogie. So if there's four heroes up here. Yeah, it's more of a late game oriented build because of that Dragon Lance. Yeah. Okay, they're gonna go once again on that Timber Saw. Probably gonna go down. Uh, Is there enough? Can you get it somewhere? No, again, it's just out of range. <laughs> Works out in the end. Yeah, OD with the Bloodlust just the attack speed stealing the intelligence from that Timber Saw. Oh, here's left by Moogie. Gets it. Comes off the ground. It's well. They take out two. Timbersaw and Puck. Gonna be dead right here. Loaded out. Look at the turn on Fenrir. Beam hits, but he's keeping on running. Off to the side of right now. Here, Paparazzi. Metaform has been active. He's in a bad spot though. Reflection. 
I don't know if that's going to save him. Paparazzi, he's just going to be run down for the body block a little bit this KP, but there's a lift into the kill. And Mogi picks it up. He is now dominating. Newbie really has got something going now. Mentioned the Bloodlust helping anyways already when it comes to the attacks being farming. With those glaives, and a lot of defense being put out by Puck here, but it's going to be lifted into a five on potential. No sounds happen. Winning rift, the Witch's Curse is not going to save Puck, though. Will the kill OG? Absolutely. Timber Shock on the good combo on top. That is a really good combo. You're right, the Shocker. Puck fighting back, heads on feet. Oh, they want to play right here. Dream Cold is ready to go. The three or pin will catch the loading. Yes, he will. Can they finish the job? The growth phase is up. The crush coming out. Timbers off flies in. The Jacko finishes the job. And both cores are dead. KP is going to fall as well. Double kill for Young 11. Just like that at a turn of a switch. It feels like VG Gaming all this. Not the one in the front line. Yeah. I mean, still, he still has the tight hunter behind him. Uh, it wants to be as mobile as possible. Young 11, man. He is having so much trouble getting away. How about that? Kaka steals the timber chain, helps cut through him with it. And another timber chain attempt. Going to be his last. Mogi finishes the job there with the losing beam. They were just cutting the waves, uh, hiding in forest, which uh, KP did quite a lot in the previous series. Yeah. They just run down the barrier with B, which we did stress how That's a smart choice. Yeah. He wants to be that frontliner, oh. uh, not being uh, counted by OD. Moogie's left alone. Everyone else TP'd out. Moogie was just that's gonna run. be huge. This is big because, yeah, that's gonna be an Aegis bird and the kill most likely. I mean, there's no way he gets out of this, and Eclipse wouldn't be worth it. And there's five heroes here, so he's definitely gonna fall. What was that? I mean, he had a TP as well. Everyone else. This is an OD that was struggling early on. To be fair, so was Terrorblade to an extent, they're both on top of the charts. Yeah. You, you may doubt me, my item choices, but never doubt Jack. <laughs> the guy <laughs> Jack is all. ahead of the time. So especially when Phantom Lancer is. Yeah, especially when we combine two of our brains together. Young Eleven, Timber Chain. Kaka stole his own Timber Chain, though, and oh, he tries to use it, but looks funny, but they get the kill. It's off a little bit. Uh, because of no Mask of Madness, yep. uh, but still, still up there, because of the love of Well, that's just get out all the talk, it's actually only Splinter Blast, so much damage coming out, all of a sudden he just explodes, it seems like, into thin air. Great jump from Lanham, initially the Witch's Curse holds Ogre Magi in place. They want to take him out as well, but maybe a little ambitious of a play. Paparazzi's going in, pops the BKB for this. Gonna kill the Ogre, maybe? I mean, Ogre is so <laughs> tanky. So tanky. That's a five support that would do that beat down damage to Paparazzi, especially if they get the turn kill. This is gonna be big now. He does have a Thunder. We'll see if that comes into play. Bloodless to play to Luna. They still are chasing Fenrir. Gonna keep them slowed. If anything, deactivating the Blink Dagger. KP going for it. Timber Chain just out of range from Kaka. Land M hits the stun on the Rubik, then slithers the other way, but he's actually going to be slowing down now. He could be in some trouble. Cold Embrace, maybe? Yep, going to save him initially. Just delaying beep, the inevitable, beep, though. Beep, 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 beep. Canceling that Ravage. Oh, uh, no. Not enough. Yeah. All right. So Radiant's courier has been killed. It's safe to say both these sides are still in this one. Yeah, definitely. I mean, there's 1k cold advantage only. The, the new Roche just spawned up, that's the second one. So, I guess they want to take a fight there before seizing the high ground, if uh, you're a newbie. Got 11. Once again, in pursuit. Is he dead again? He has a sacrifice. Will that come into play? No. Movie X gets credit for the kill. Big though. He's level 15. He almost has an axe now. Are scanning. Yeah, well, Pipe, not uh, too much magical damage coming out from Beachy. They have Buck and Arkansas. Uh, of course, can go for more greedy build, uh, the Butterfly. Yeah. Which she actually is gonna go for. Just an he is gonna get caught here in the middle lane. It's a nice find, and he's up for 50 seconds. Newbie. Oh, nice they get scanned. Scan. Yeah, they know they're coming. And now BG, they're gonna go on Slaughter. He comes down, Slaughter, though. The reaction is real. Slaughter's gonna get picked off of that. No, he's not going to raise the decision for the time. Being the three damage to Autumn, checking through the Arcane Orbs, though. Finishes the top of the back lane. Drain Quill coming out from Puck. He's distracted a couple. Paparazzi beating down KP. Not the best target to be going after, but it's the only target right now. But man, they might actually get the kill. The Imprisonment will save for the time being. Old 11 to be be activated. Gonna be wearing off. Allows for kind of a play count. The Ultimate, there's the Ultimate. The Eclipse bouncing around left and right, but not nearly enough damage. As Terrible activated the BK. So far, Slaughter's is still the only one dead. And now Faith is winning. They're just so damn tanky across the board. The metaphor, it's not going to be enough. Now comes the losing beam. The down goes.
go. Taylor plays a final egg kill in favor of Newman. That's getting better for them. They take out Winter Wyvern. Young 11. He's going to have to sacrifice himself. They finally. People. Also, nice save on the, the Tide Hunter there, uh, which was heavily focused with the two BKBs from Timber and uh, Terrorblade. Also, the Solar Crest on Ogre Magi is doing the work. They just can't die, it seems like. Yeah, the damage from BG Gaming is just not there. Okay, just so cool to that they dig an idea for Puck. I mean, it's a little more understandable now, but... And it's actually Ethereal Blade Luna. Yeah. Oh my gosh. We do see Ethereal Blade Luna with the Agonist, but the Glades are still doing plenty of bounces around. He's in the base. You see he pops the cheese. The Winter's Curse. He's going to take a little bit of damage from OD, but he'll also be surviving through it. Puts up with the Mantis style. S Triple C going in. Going to finish off Land Emily. S Triple C. He is such a threat right now. Takes out the Dwarf as well. And now he's turning attention to the BKB target that is Young 11. Young 11 up going to the back line. Trying to finish off Luna himself with the Chakram on top. Terra Blade. They are able to take out Ogre Magi after their base is somewhat destroyed, though. OD still well alive. And S Triple C still wants to fight damage. Astral Imprisonment. Puts Terra Blade under. Terra Blade knows he can't really fight. He's trying to get away, but he lifts it out. Allow for the auto attack. Double Thunder. Now Young 11 is going to fall terribly and has to get back. What a response from Rubik right there. That's why Rubik is one of the best uh, heroes against the... Terror Blade in general, yeah. the damage reduction coming up from Fade Bolt, easy get up, set up for the ganks and the, the play. We, we see that play quite often recently. Here, they just don't die. They just have so much region to work with. That Death Star is on KP. The Death Star is online, aka the Eclipse of the Axe. You know that's going to be coming if the fight does break out here. Pop Ross, he's like, screw it, I got to try something. He has a Sunder once again. So they were black in the illusion, trying to just harass them out. This is the last set of racks, though. He can't do much by himself. Slaughter's back up, as is with the last one. The fifth replacement goes to the top of And there's the Eclipse. The Death Star indeed is online. GG, well played. Game two, going to Newbie. And we have a game number three. As a result here, the winner bracket finals. Can't say I didn't see this one coming. Well, it's what we want to see, huh? Yeah, Always. No, I'm excited. to pick. It's okay, right? Yeah, it'd be like an excellent slot game now for newbie. Fortunately, they don't have that option. But really, for the first time in the series, it also seems like our middle matchup is just a true one versus one. Death Prophet versus the Medusa. Um, leaning towards either one. Do you think uh, Death Prophet maybe should have a good time here or what? Could be okay. Uh, Death Prophet, hero that uh, can't be really ganked, uh, especially with the Sank. He needs to be in your face. Uh, if she just uses Spirit Siphon, I mean, she's already uh, using that to harass CCNC. First blood, that's yeah. gonna be happening. KP picks it up right there. Oh, the stun of the Burl Strike landed was rotating over, but obviously couldn't get there in time. Yeah, that's the nice way to start a fight, the net showing Kaka, where he is. Uh, and uh, what they wanted to do is just uh, give uh, Paparazzi a kind of a free matchup, free lane, so he can get a lot of levels, but uh, it kind of backfires. That it did, does have a massive creep wave pushing right here, so Paparazzi ideally going to get some experience, but it ends up being now a two versus two at the top lane. With this uh, aggressive run at you idea, Ganami Knight with that, uh, that DJ Nara. Obviously good for that, and you got the Burl Strike stone on top of it. So two minute rune going to be spawning. Oh, the bounty rune seems like they might be contesting them being Sand King and the Slaughter. Who's going to pick it up? <laughs> They're really clashing. Got more seconds. There's the crush, oh, and it'll be picked oh, up by Slaughter, be. actually. Out of him. So actually, Kaka does need to be a little bit careful. He does have a Burl Strike, so he's kind of manning up here. He's going to go in for the Burl Strike and then run away. That'll be the end of it. Both fours, not afraid to be uh, fighting one another. And both have stuns, so... If you're Death Prophet, though, do you think... I mean, you just want to try to cast Exorcism and push Middle Tower right away, safe to say? Uh, yeah, they're playing against Medusa, who's pretty static, doesn't want to leave the lane at all. Yeah. And he's really good against the uh, deep boost and five manning. Spot him. Young 11. Gonna barely stay alive, but he gets glimpsed back the other direction. Almost had a chance to escape, it felt like, but it wasn't enough. But still... It's very interesting that he went the bottle, though. Again, the idea of controlling ruins is nice, but no soul ring, at least just yet. Soul ring should feel so good on this hero. Yeah, it does because of that uh, extra six strength and it gives you damage as well. Feels like a natural build and something like that. He might go 
for that build as well with the bottle. Well, I guess he wanted to be more active early on with that bottle. Just pressure the long through it. Yeah. Ooh. Lanham well, trying to guess with the crush right there. The same form was used by Sand King, but ends up missing. They're really killing the spare, aren't they? But uh, it's, it's a tough target to kill, and Paparazzi will actually just summon a new one. Bring it back to full life. Yeah, in the laning space, it feels so worthless to actually try to kill a bear. The first rotation coming out from Ori. Yeah. She knows she can't pressure that mid lane I was talking about against the Medusa. I wonder if they're gonna just go and try to take a tower. Uh, Omni Knight has no mana whatsoever, so this might be the fall of the tier 1 tower. Well, it's interesting that you were just suggesting that as they were attempting to kill the bear over and over again. They are attempting to flutter right here, but this could come at a cost now for Sand King at least. So you have Omni Knight and Medusa now TPing in. Realizing that they have to defend, so the Exorcism pull back from Death Prophet off to the side, though. They will eventually catch Slaughter. That is four heroes ultimately here. So you'll scepter yourself, get in the air, buy some extra time, and they're focused uh, by the Exorcism. So it's always going to be a better choice. Yeah. Bottom lane, Winter Wyvern trying to run, trying to avoid right here. All Young Eleven's going to help with that. Sand King ends up going down, so nice find there. As a response, and there's the primal split actually going to chase after SCCC, who decided to come in on the Medusa. Mana Shield is up. You see the, uh, the Storm Brewing actually going after Omni Knight. Not going to throw him in the air just yet. The Static Storm coming out from the structure, trying to help again. As we'll see, Tuesday alive. The Mana Shield activated once again. Mori, though, the stuck on top of him. Will finish off the job. Boogie. Now the Unstable Current helps to finish off with Wipe and Return. But Boogie's in a lot of trouble all of a sudden. He's in a horrible spot. Savage War away in the Omni Knight. He's going to make Yell. KP, he has a heal. That's all he has, though. Not much Mana Mark to work with. He had a Guardian Angel. He could never find the time. The front lines, no blinks just yet. Well, this is another storm of initiation, but they've got a clip, Static Storm, and they're going to pull in Lanham, who could not get some crushed off because of the Static Storm. That giant pop, barely keep it alive, it's going to keep it alive at the end, and now here comes a turn in favor of the tire side. Out comes the Guardian Angel, the split is up from the Brewmaster, the Exorcist from the side of the Ori, puts the Siphon onto the structure, throws him in the air as well with the Storm Brewer, they do the slaughter. On that goes down to one more so far, Boogie in the run, not going to be enough, goes Crypt Storm, finishes them off. And the run down is real for Mori. Meanwhile, the entangle hits Kaka. He gets a real strike up. No TP, however, just delaying time before death here. A double kill for Paparazzi. And it's pretty impossible to fight into exorcism. And that, you go ahead. And, and that was the fight where DP had uh, Arcane Room, so exorcism is going to be up uh, once again in uh, Kaka, Sandstorm. No, he's going to be able to follow this up. First strike is ready. Stuns it in out of Brewmaster. Why is he coming back together? Perfect timing. Winter's Curse saving it for the time. You know, the back left is defeating his own teammate. Omni Knight will manage to survive another glimpse back. And this time, oh, down. he away again. Young Eleven is too quick. Finally, they're going to finish the job. The Glickman as well with the epicenter. From Kaka, he split up right as he went in, though, with the epicenter. And now they're going to lock down Sanki. They first get the and Kaka. He'll be the victim. When it's all said and done, it's about to wear off. The Hand of Midas picked up by the Omni Knight. So, mentioning that earlier, KP going back to a foul play. No, as you say that, and that's going to make fire. Easy kill. Great, it's on Omni Knight. Land M, Blink. Oh, they're going to get the jump right here, it looks like. There they go for Omni Knight. The key target is going to work fast enough. Don't get helping. Grips are hit. But Omni Knight going to stay alive for now. Medusa just beating down Slaughter. They also catch the Three Master. Golden Rams will save it initially, but the Burl Strike will finish the job. So, great response from Once again, it's Vici Gaming using that smoke. Tanking. We'll be pushed out middle. Will they maybe wrap around back to him? Could be an option. Yes, sir. Indeed, they're going to go for it. Yeah, that should be a kill. The force staff not going to save him. Double damage spawns right there. Do so. It'll be a long lift, and they'll get the easy tower kill. Pull back. So being a very, a very safe with this wicker wire. The witch's curse in the back lines actually does enough catching one. On oh, Omni dies, but not enough beat down it. Finish him off. They, they can't take this fight. Whatever the left land wants to take it. Gets the couple. Static from throwing down. Does get through mastery. But he's probably still remember. Coming back together. BTB actually better than Ori the Exorcist. Doing some damage. But that's Triple C standing his ground pretty well. The Guardian Angel also helping. And now we see Ori throwing himself in the air. It's just going to delay the inevitable for him. The bear, meanwhile, is going to be killed off. Paparazzi's team being out. And he does not have a the Lone Druid, who's going to go for Aghanim Scepter. Uh, BP LT as well, Panda can also split push a lot. Bottom. They're going in epicenter, not going to be nearly enough damage though. That what was is a that? Bold attempt from Kaka is what that was, the crush hits it. 
That was, uh, hey guys, look at me. Huh? <laughs> I'm a pub all star now. As a result of being level 25, top lane, nope, just farted. Nope, maybe not. Taka going in, F7. This time he has plenty of teammates up for him. Land out with a quick reaction, however, it might be over not. Look pretty, but still going to be the end of him. Just a matter of time. Mogi will take credit for the kill. Using uh, BOT to keep it off. So, Longwood can maybe take some damage uh -oh. on that tower. Oh. Forced to react to the BKB as I'm seeing a good person in part of the team way back. Double M also jumps in out of Drunker. He's being beat down for a second in the back of this Winter Wyvern. They do take out the Groove Master actually. And so do they, the Winter Wyvern, that damn it. Yeah, but the bottom lane, they just use the Glyph and that's it. Tier 3 tower being beat down. Omni Knight finally comes in, so does Cock on the Sand King. Or he can eat them all good. They stop, I don't believe so. Oh, yes, they do. Because Glyph's back actually, they had the range. The Glyph's range is absolutely absurd. They're gonna finish off for you as a result. And he is dead also with no buyback, so sure. Trying to split push on the bottom, and uh, the ref decided to take a fight. The premature pop for BKB from uh, DP. They couldn't uh, take the fight there. I mean, and the Slugger was dead. It was pretty much, but that's the same thing she had to because it was a glimpse. So it was like, they, they, but they were sticking around close enough for the glimpse to even hit. Yeah, it was it was a very clunky fight for BG, but obviously great job by Newbie capitalizing on it. The lead continues to grow. They're going to get top tier three after already clearing up the middle set of racks. They're going to get these. I mean, she doesn't even have a buyback. Yeah. Two sets of racks and the rope just respawned, which has the refresher shard. On the night, four tap. will even put down its own the mouth. You have Lundgren pushing up the top lane, of course, during this. Here we go. They're going to get close. They can set us down. The BKB is being popped all over the place. Davis has picked up an S triple C. Stargate's on it. Now, as soon as he jumped in, he couldn't hit get off the ground. Oh, okay, maybe he could. He actually gets off the last second already. Exorcism very defensively. BKB sitting back there. He's being run down by Bogey with his own PKP. Brewmaster will one through the left to be in the Earth one. You see the Winter's Curse walking down Bogey a little bit longer. Will allow them probably to get away initially, but the glyphs back. Bring the fight back in. The Spirit Siphon taken out, but that should eventually be a kill on Ori as it comes back down. From the Yules, they took out Disruptor, they lose to the Razor right there as they're pushing in. Obviously a last stand of sorts for Beachy Gaming, but Newbie looking too strong, honestly. Tier 4-1 goes down. The second one's still alive, but S-Triple-C just wrecking everything that comes in range of a split shot, including the Lone Druid Bear. The first one's dead. He spawns a new one. Does Lone Druid himself. Young 11 even tries to poke him, but he's just having to run away now. You see well plays coming out from KP. He knows this is the beginning of the end indeed. Young 11 pops to be a KP. He needs up being called this official. Newbie going to the finals here. The perfect role masters. BG Gaming will drop down to his rap final to play later on today. Yeah, seems like uh, the opening uh, Razor.